Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited. I am gonna be doing a updated get ready with me video. I'm gonna share with you guys what beauty makeup I'm currently using, what's my routine. Pretty much gonna be like an updated 2021 get ready with me. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, let's talk New Year's. This whole New Year's resolution thing is always about like, I need to, I have to do this. I have to start this. You know, this is the year I have to get fit. This is the year I have to hit a million subscribers. You know, and those are really ambitious and great, but I find what happens in my past New Year's resolutions being like that was it's kind of, it's subconsciously coming from a negative space. What I found to be more useful, I'm gonna start putting on foundation while I say this. We have to come from a space where, you know, this is something we actually truly want for ourselves. Like, yeah, of course we all wanna be fit and we all wanna make money, but it's not deep enough to just want something. You have to be connected to the goal, literally from your soul, your heart and your whole being it's okay to not want the typical things like being fit i feel this year i didn't really make a i have to do this kind of goal it was more of like a every day i'm going to try to be better at this or every day i'm going to try to meditate for five minutes i think we need to to not only be so obsessed with like the end goal but the mini milestones that are going to get you there you're going to make it part of your your routine it's going to become part of your lifestyle and really i feel it's where it's at success from what i'm learning is in your daily habits your daily routine you have to do it in small increments you can't just try to go hard all at once and that's why i think we we burn out because we we set such a high standard such a high bar for ourselves that when we don't get there we just we feel like crap, we feel bad about it. That's my rant. Hopefully, hopefully that connected the dots somehow. Okay, I'm, I'm applying my NARS concealer and I'm gonna try to focus at the same time. So I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's one of my all time favorite concealers. Uh, it's just like the perfect amount of coverage for a natural yet, you know, coverage look. So as you notice, I actually only apply right here in my inner corners mostly and then up here like on the outer corner but lifting up and I find that to be what works for covering the dark circles but still lifting the eye. Less is more, I, you know, I've come to realize, you know, it's more about like the placement of the product and how you apply it than how much you apply because typically I used to just like go crazy in this triangle shape with concealer but you don't need that much concealer in this area. So yeah, I mean, how are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling about the new year? You know, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm starting to really understand the balance between flow, allowing things to happen, and also being very disciplined and knowing when to step up. Okay, so now that I have my concealer on, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my translucent powder. This one doesn't change year round. This is my favorite translucent loose powder by Laura Mercier and I have been using a brush to apply it and I usually just set it first before I do any sort of baking that's just going to make sure I lock in the concealer so it it stays in place okay so another update so as you guys know I've started working on a new business back in September of last year it is now January, which is I think five months, or November, December, January. And I'm getting very close to being able to announce that to you guys soon. I can't wait. And I'm very excited about this, you guys. This is something I've literally been pouring my heart and soul into. Find something that you're gonna be really excited about to stay up extra late and wake up extra early and sleep less for. It wasn't, honestly, if it wasn't for starting this business, I don't know what I would have been doing during this whole pandemic. I mean, I obviously have been working on myself and trying to find new ways to be better and healthy, but I'm super grateful. Have you guys started any new projects or anything during this whole pandemic? Like, what are you throwing yourself into at this time? And now we're gonna go ahead and go to the eyes. I've been using very minimal eyeshadow lately, honestly. Um, this Natasha Denona palette is one of my all-time favorites. I love this one because it has pretty much all of the shades I enjoy wearing. And this is the look I've been rocking like every single day, by the way. So I'm gonna take a, a round brush and I dipped it in that warm brown 
and I'm just gonna start on the outer edge and I'm gonna work my way into my crease. But what I like to do is I actually start in the crease but I blend it all over my eyelid because I want it to be the most prominent in this crease area but I also don't want it to only be in the crease. So I usually start on that outer part of the eye and then I just quickly bring it all the way down across my eyelid. It's pretty natural. It almost looks like just a shadow on the eye. I don't know, I, I'm not really doing too much on my eyelids these days so this is my everyday look. Another thing I'm really excited about this year is I've actually I've actually made it a goal to be of, of service more this year, meaning, you know, to be more useful in this world and help others. And so this year I decided that I would do something around animals and pets. When I was a kid, we had so many pets. We had, we had cats, fish, tons of fish, tons of little birds, like tons of little birds. We had mice. I can't believe this. It was hilarious. We had dogs, um, we had, yeah, like bunnies. I had so many rabbits, animals, you know, it's, it's, it's always been part of my childhood. And this year I was like, you know, I really wanna do something to help out. And like, as, a, as kids, I've talked about this, that we, me and my sister, we used to put flyers on our neighbor's doors and ask for them to donate anything so we could bring it to the shelter. And a lot of our neighbors always donated like bags of food, toys, bones, whatever, leashes, everything. And we would take it to the SBC and we'd feel so proud when we got our volunteer sticker. And it just felt really good. And I decided that this year would be a, a really nice year to do that, to help our animals and furry friends. So I teamed up with the SBCA of LA. We, we ended up creating a fundraiser together. So I'm very excited and passionate about that. I have a link in my description box if you guys are interested in checking it out, donating, anything helps. 100% of proceeds will go directly to SPCA. Okay, so next I have my eyeshadow on. Pretty blended, I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit more. I actually like to take my, my finger and dip it into this gold color. And I'm just gonna pat it over my eyelid in the center. Ooh, actually, I got this really cute, fun glitter from MAC. It's spectacular. Look at how pretty that is. I'm gonna take a teeny bit of that and layer it over that bronzy color just to kind of brighten it up. It's like more of a, a light sheer glitter. Now we're gonna go into contour, shall we? I've been loving the Fenty Matchsticks. This one is shade Mocha. I have a few of these, I am obsessed with them. Right above my cheekbone because you're gonna wanna blend it down. And you always wanna be a little bit higher than your cheekbone, not lower, because that's gonna make your face wider. Apply a tiny bit. I very lightly hold the edge of this to get a thin line. Also don't forget to kind of bring it into the eye, brow bone I mean, a little bit. And then here, also on the bottom of my nose, you know, I honestly don't like to connect it all the way straight through. I feel that that makes your, your nose look longer towards the end. So this will help kind of shorten it, but you also wanna leave a little bit of space right here so the center of your nose can, can shine. And then also just a tiny bit on the sides because the goal is to just contour the nose this way. And then also just a tad underneath the jawline, keep it nice and slim. I always put a little bit just on the, I'm gonna take this angled brush by Laura Mercier, cheek brush. And then I always kind of like fan it out lightly first, but try not to bring the brush lower than that line. Instead, try to kind of blend it straight on the line and then also a little bit up. taking this more angled brush so I could do the the sides of my nose make this the year I just want to say make this the year to stop half-assing things because I find I, I came to this realization you're either gonna put a hundred thousand percent or you're gonna put none to me there's no in between like half-assing is such a waste of time you know, when you half ask something, you're doing a complete disservice to yourself, but also to the people who you could be inspiring, who you could be helping, you know? And I think 
a big lesson that I've had was you know stop worrying about your own insecurities because you could literally be changing somebody's life you could be that source of light for someone if you just stop feeling insecure about your talents your gifts your knowledge your personality and just yourself in general you know i think too many times yeah there's a lot of people out there who always have something to say and aren't gonna like you but you have to live authentically for yourself and just think about, you know, you are here on this planet for a reason. Your purpose is to serve people somehow, to help other people. And how you can do that is being 100% yourself. Living and standing in your truth and not letting your insecurities get the best of you. Just be free, free yourself from that mentality of like crippling worry and stress and fear about judgment. My nose got so skinny. I gotta hurry up here. It's very much hard to, to talk and do makeup at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer down the center of my nose to separate that contour just a tad. I'm gonna let that sit for a second to dry. I like the, um, the contour on my nose to stay. So when I blend it, it doesn't like just disappear. So I'm gonna let that sit on my nose for just a second. And then we're gonna apply blush. So I, again, am loving the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. I'm gonna be using the shade Beach Bum. I love this blush because it has a little bit of a shimmer. So it really acts like a, a highlight blush at the same time. This is actually a foundation brush, but I like it because it works well with cream products. So I'm gonna softly smile and then I'm gonna blend that out. I love this color. I need to get some more of these sticks. It really lives up to its name, like Beach Mum. I feel like I've been laying out, getting tan. My concealer is probably a little bit more dry. I'm gonna take my concealer brush and just pat that down. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender, dip it in that Laura Mercier translucent powder, and I'm just gonna go down the sides of my nose, like so, not too far down, just right there and in that inner corner. This is really just going to sharpen up the edge of the nose. Kind of pinches it in. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit on, on the sides of my nose for about 10 minutes. I'm going to finish my eyes. So lately I've been doing an eye, uh, a winged eye, half winged eye, and I've been using the Rare Beauty Liquid Eyeliner. This is a really great matte liquid eyeliner. And the, the point on the brush is super fine it's like a calligraphy pen so you can really get an intense nice line so i've been doing somewhat of a, a half eyeliner so let me show you i do a wing and then i connect it but i go only towards like the middle section of my eye if you can see so i only bring it towards the middle center of my eye and then i fill it in because i feel that that makes more of a cat eye so another quick thing that i just wanted to update you guys on we have been thinking about moving out of LA. And I, it's kind of a bummer to say that because, you know, obviously you guys may have seen my videos. Some of my, you know, popular videos on my channel have been about living in LA, my life here, you know, the great experiences that I've been having here. But as you guys know, with COVID, everything is just so different. And, you know, one, it's just, it's getting really bad here. The energy feels a little bit stale. And not only that, but you know, we pay a premium price to live the lifestyle of LA. And right now with there being no lifestyle, it just seems like such a bad investment to, to invest in living here right now. And, you know, also you have to be smart about your choices. So, you know, financially, yeah, I can afford it, but do I want to be wasting my money on living in a place where I can't, you know, reap the benefits of living in, kind of break away from the hustle and bustle while things figure itself out while things calm down, you know, it's one of the worst places right now with, you know, the pandemic, COVID, everything. We're thinking about it. It's not 100% sure, but we're always gonna come back to LA probably, but if we do decide to leave, it would just be temporary until things settle down and get back to normal, because it's pretty bad here. You know, everything is you know, just insane. There's a lot of high cases of coronavirus here, and it's just seeming to get worse. It's a big city, obviously, so it just doesn't feel safe. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm honestly almost done, you guys. I'm just gonna, 
I'm actually not even gonna add highlight because this blush is kind of radiant on its own. So obviously sometimes I wear lashes. You know, I, I do love applying corner lashes. I usually cut my lashes in half. I might just do mascara, I might not, we'll see. But I, I've been using the same mascara, the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara is honestly one of my favorites and it's a drugstore mascara. It's insanely great for the price. I don't know, where do you, where have you guys, where are you, where are you guys at mentally? And like, are you guys relocating? I feel like I hear a lot of people are moving, um, just trying to get a, a better, healthier place uh, to be, Try, trying to be in a better space, you know, mentally, physically, and financially, but you know, it's hard times right now, and I think a lot of people are changing their lives. And I'm curious to know where you guys are at. So I, I of course, gonna I'm going to line my lips. I always have to line my lips. So I'm using this MAC pencil. It's called Spice. Sometimes I do two liners. So I actually start on the bottom here, and I, I fill in the inner corner just a little bit. And then here, I'm gonna follow my natural lip line. I have this darker lip pencil by MAC, it's called Cork, and it's more of like a neutral brown. And I just go over where I wanna accentuate the contour, so just like, mostly on the bottom. And then also here in the center, This is just to define the shape a little bit more. So then I actually have been taking a brush. I find that a brush gives a way more softer look to the lips than like a harsh edge. And I try to leave the, lip, the middle part of my lip without color, because I'm gonna put gloss. And then I take my lip gloss, either clear or one that has shimmer, but I think I'm gonna go for just clear today. I'm using this e.l.f. lip lacquer. And just in the center, I always put a tiny bit of eyeshadow on the lower lash lid, on the lower outer lash lid, and then slightly in. Mascara, mostly on the outer corner. All right guys, so that completes the look. I am now fully ready for the day, and I'm so excited that I was able to sit here and chat with you guys, kind of give you an update about my life. Uh, will I, will I not move out of LA? Who knows what will happen next in 2021? There's a lot in store, um, you know, I just want to say that we are also approaching 1,000 subscribers here. Woo! So excited about that, you guys. I can't even tell you that is that means so much to me. Um, more than anything, I just am having so much fun uploading these videos. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so that way I know we can be friends and that way um, you know, we can keep in touch. So I have many more videos in store coming up for you, 2021. And also just wanna quickly add that I did drop a new song so soon and I'm very excited about it. Wrote it with my good friend Fiction and also produced by Dela. If you guys haven't heard it, I'm gonna put a link in the description box so you guys can go stream it, play it, share it, all of that. And remember, you know, go out there and live to your fullest potential. Thanks again, guys. Until next time, peace out. <coughs> Whoa.